Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve another word problem on whole numbers. It's a rather different one, but very interesting nonetheless. All right, so this question says that Riley types at a speed of 25 words a minute. If she took 18 minutes to type an essay, how many words did the essay have? All right, so this question deals with something called speed. Now, what is speed? Let's try to understand the concept of speed first, okay? So let's forget about this question and let's think of, let's, uh, let, let me explain about something very different from this, okay? But related to speed, all right? So let's say that, you know, you are, you stay at this house, which is here, okay? So this is your house, this is your nice little house, and this is where you live, okay? So this is you, this is your house. And say you have a friend called... Jane, okay, you have a friend called Jane and she lives in this house here, okay, this is Jane's cottage and the distance from your house to Jane's house or let's, let's speak in a different, a simpler language, okay, so Jane lives say 200 meters away from your house, so this is where Jane lives and Jane is 200 meters away from you, okay, now you have to go Pick up Jane so you and Jane can go to a playground and play. Okay, so what you do is you start from your place. This is your place at zero meters. And this is Jane's place at 200 meters. So you start from, a, from your place and you start walking at a speed of 100 meters in two minutes. What this means is that you're walking, walking, walking. And when it's two minutes, you will be you will have walked 100 meters. So let's let's maybe, you know, make a landmark here. Say this is a tree here, which is at 100 meters, okay? So this is your, this is your house here. This is a tree here between your house and Jane, Jane's house. And this is at 100 meters, okay? So this total distance is 200 meters, but this tree here is at 100 meters. So let me erase this 200 meter from here. The total distance is 200 meters, okay? But... This is a tree here, the landmark, and this is at 100 meter mark. Now, when it is two minutes, you will have walked till the, till this landmark, which is the tree, okay? So, you start from the, from your place, say you have a stopwatch with you. You start from your place and you just turn on the stopwatch. You just hit, you just press the start button. And when you are here, midway, because 100 meters is midway between 0 and 200, right? So when you are midway, when you are by this tree, when you have walked until this tree, you will have timed 2 minutes in your, in your stopwatch because you are walking at a pace of 100 meters in 2 minutes. So this is what it means. So you're walking at a speed of or a pace of or a rate of. These are all, all same words. Mean they, mean they all mean the same thing, okay? So you're walking at a speed of 200, uh, sorry, 100 meters in two minutes. So when the stopwatch says two minutes, you will have reached the middle point of uh, the distance between your house and Jane's house. So two minutes, you will be here. And you started from your place at zero minutes. Let's write that, that down as well. Now, how about when you are at Jane's house, how much time do you think will your stopwatch show? So if you're walking at the same pace, so to read Jane's house from this tree, it will take you two more minutes. But at that time, your stopwatch will show four minutes. You have fetched Jane at four minutes. Now, you and Jane are going to the playground. So let's make the playground here. Okay, let me move this whole thing so I, I have space for the playground. Okay. All right. So let's say the playground is another 200 meters from Jane's house. So let's say, let's say maybe, you know, this is the playground. We say this is PG for playground. Maybe there are a few slides here. This is a nice slide here. And maybe there's a seesaw here where children are playing. And this guy, the, this playground is at another 200 meter distance from Jane's house. And maybe, let's say, you know, this is the middle point from Jane's house to the playground. And there is maybe another landmark here, which is another nice tree. Okay, a very tall one. Okay, so this is another tree and this is at 
the middle point from Jane's house to the playground. So if you start from here, which is the zero meter mark, then the first landmark is at 100 meters. Then it's Jane, Jane's house at 200 meters. Then another, at another, at the next 100 meters, which would be 300 meters from this starting point of zero meters, which is your house, this is the tree, the second landmark, tree number two. And at the next 100 meters, which is 400 meters, is the playground. Okay, now you pick up Jane, you fed Jane from her house, and at that time, your stopwatch shows four minutes. Then you start walking, you and Jane, you both have the same speed, okay? So you and Jane, you start walking again, and when you reach the second landmark here, which is the next 100 meters from Jane's house, your stopwatch will have moved another two minutes. So that would be six minutes from the time that you started from your house. Then you have 100 more meters to reach the playground. And when you reach the playground, can you guess how much time it would be on your stopwatch? Well, another two more minutes will have passed. So it will be eight minutes since you started walking from your house. So this is what speed means, that in every two minutes, you will have walked 100 meters. Or the other way around, that to walk 100 meters, you will need... All right, now let's do a recap of what we just learned. So you and Jane were walking at a speed of... This is your speed. So your speed was 100 meters in two minutes. Okay, now let's put that down on the, uh, on the, on the timeline and the distance line. So this is what it was. It looked like you had this line here and you started at zero minutes. This was your zero minutes and at zero minutes you were at zero meters. Okay, then what happened was when two minutes passed, so this is what happened. After two minutes, this is your two minutes. The timeline showed two minutes. Okay, the watch, the star watch showed two minutes and you had walked 100 meters. So the distance had gone up by 100 meters. So this was your 100 meters. Now see here the speed, 100 meters. This is what it is, 100 meters. Two minutes on the time, timeline and two minutes here. The next one would be two more minutes. If you add two more minutes to this, because this is your speed, okay, two more minutes, then the distance will go up by 100 meters. So then 100 plus 100 is 200 meters. So on the distance line, you will have 200 meters, while on the timeline, you will have two minutes plus two minutes. So that will be four minutes. Okay, then the next one on the line. So the next one on the line, add the next two minutes, okay, another two minutes, you add this one. And what you get is plus two minutes here. So four minutes plus two minutes is six minutes. So six minutes here. And then what's the distance? 100 meters, right? So you add 100 more meters to this. And what you get is 200 plus 100 is 300 meters. And so on and so forth. Okay, I think we'll do one more. So the last one was two more minutes plus two minutes more. And that will give you six minutes plus two minutes. So that's eight minutes on the timeline and in the same way what you do with the distance is 300 meters plus 100 meter from here okay and that will give you 400 meters so this is how your uh, speed line or the distance line and the timeline look like but every time you want to find out where you will be at this time or how much time it will take you to cover this much distance you don't want to draw uh, this line there's another shortcut way so let's uh, see what the shortcut way is okay all right so let's uh, do the shortcut way Okay, well you can do this this way also, you can find out uh, using this method as well, but I just feel that this is a rather longish one. So what we do is we make a line and on our line we put down the speed and the speed is 2 minutes and 100 meters and 2 minutes. So you put that 100 meters and 2 minutes. Now you want to find out where you will be when the watch says, when the, watch, the stop watch says 4 minutes. So what you want to find out is this question mark here. So then what you actually simply do is you find out by how many factors or by how many times the minute or the timeline has gone up by. 
So if this is 2 and this is 4, then obviously this has gone up by 2 times. So 2 minutes times 2 is equal to 4 minutes. So if this has gone up by 2 times, then so much the distance, right? So the distance must also go up by 2 times. So 100 meters times 2 is 200 meters, which is what you get here, which is what you got here, right? You had, uh, when it was 2, when it, sorry, when it was 4 minutes, you had traveled 200 meters, right? If you see the, the diagram above. Now, if you were asked to find out where you will be when it is 6 minutes in the watch, then you do the same thing here. So you write down the speed, 2 minutes, and you write down, so you write, sorry, you write down the speed 100, min, 100 meters in 2 minutes. And you want to find out where you will be when it is 6 minutes by the watch. So you see how many times the minute has gone up by, the minute line has gone up by, the timeline has gone up by. It's gone up by a factor of 3. So 2 minutes times 3 gave you 6 minutes. So then what will this be, this question mark here? Same, the distance must also go up by a factor of 3, right? So 100 meters times 3 is equal to 300 meters, which is exactly what you have here. 6 minutes, when it is 6 minutes in the watch, you will have walked 300 meters. Now what if you want to find out how much time it will take you to walk a certain distance? So you have the speed that is 100 meters in 2 minutes. And you've been asked to find out how much time it will take you to walk 400 meters at this speed, the speed of 100 meters in 2 minutes. So what you've been asked to find out is this question mark here. Now, to find out this, we know that on this line, if the distance goes up by a certain factor, or then the time must also go up by the same factor, and vice versa. Now, can you find out from here that by how many times the distance line has gone up? Well, we know 400 divided by 100, and that's a factor of 4, right? So the same must hold true for the timeline. So all you do is you multiply 2 minutes by Four, and what you get is 2 times 4, which is 8. So it is equal to 8 minutes, which is exactly what we have here. Now, how about we go back to our original question, all right? So let me clear all this. So Riley types at a speed of 25 words in a minute. If she took 18 minutes to type an essay, how many words did the essay have? Now, let's again draw our line okay the line which on which we will mark how many words she types and how much time she takes okay so she types at the speed of 25 words in a minute so when it is one minute in the watch she would have typed 25 words how about two minutes when it is two minutes in the watch she would have typed 25 more words so when you multiply this by two what you do is also multiply the words by two, the number of words by two. So what you get is 50 words. Now what we want to find out is where she would be at 18 minutes or how many words she would have typed in 18 minutes. So what you do is you put 18 minutes here. Now what you must do to get 18 minutes? Well you multiply one minute by 18. So what you do is you multiply one by 18 and what you get is 18 minutes. Now, if you multiply the time by 18, you must also multiply the number of words by 18, right? So that's the factor. 18 is the factor that is to be used. Now, when it was one minute, she had typed 25 words. So then what you do is you multiply 25 by 18 to find out how many words she would have typed in 18 minutes. So let's do 25 times 18. Now, what is that? 18 times 5 is 90. And 18 times 2 is 36 plus 9 is 45. So since Riley is typing at the speed of 25 words in a minute and she took 18 minutes to type an essay, the essay had 450 words. See, that's how simple speed problems are. All right, so that's that about this word problem and about speed. For more word problems and for practice exercises, don't forget to visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.